We're going to take a look at some more wide receivers. NFL free agency market. Uh, these are guys that haven't quite lived up to the expectations and might be worth taking a second chance on. That's the second draft shots. Nicole Hardman um, underwent surgery, allegedly successful surgery, but they never say it's unsuccessful surgery. We know that. Uh, Paris Campbell. <laughs> Uh, Darius Slayton. Um, there's another tier of these that we want to look at too. Speed Demons, and that's Marquez Calloway, uh, Scotty Miller, Jalen Guyton, um, Deontay Harden, or Hardy rather, uh, Marquez Godwin, Marquise Godwin rather, and T.Y. Hilton. So uh, any of those have an interest to you? I think we've talked in the past. Campbell is intriguing to me. I I'd like that fast twitchy guy that can be kind of an easy button for Deshaun Watson. I think Paris Campbell probably carries a bigger name as far as, you know, guys who can do that type of thing. I think McCole Hardman to this point throughout their NFL careers has been a guy who's probably proven more uh, injury history is probably in more in his favor. Um, and you can see, you know, with McCole Hardman, obviously, you know, jet motion, those types of things, the things the Browns want to, put into their offense just you know something else to keep something guessing if it's going to be a run to Nick Chubb worried about the tight end worry about Donovan down to people's Jones worried about Amari Cooper intriguing names all around there both of those guys for me McCall Hardman over Paris Campbell definitely Darius Slayton and it's interesting the Giants who are so you know void right now of talent at the wide receiver position that they necessarily wouldn't be so interested in keeping one of their own um, but Darius Slayton has you know had some big games in his career he's had some big catches in his career he would be playing with a quarterback on a talent level that he has never played with to this point in his career. Any of those first three names are really, really interesting. When he gets to that other list of the speed burners, obviously, you know, T.Y. Hilton well past his prime, Goodwin well past his prime. Other guys either coming from teams that played in a dome or teams that played in Florida in much better favorable weather situations. Uh, for me, you know, with Hardman, Campbell obviously coming from Ohio State, you know, Slayton really just a, a a versatile wide receiver who's good. Maybe never a guy who was a one or maybe even a two, but maybe a two A type of guy. That first list of those three guys, all of those guys, definitely solid players. But it's going to be interesting the way the market works this year because there is not a lot of big names. So does that mean for the lower names who are basically now the top end of the class, is the price range for those guys going to be something that maybe the Browns just don't feel comfortable, you know, tipping their toes in that water? Yeah, it will certainly be worth uh, taking a look at here um, in about a month is when that will get rolling. Three uh, weeks. Yep. yep.